Hi guys! Welcome to another video tutorial with me, Claris. Today's video is going to be super fun. So I hope you guys are excited. We're doing something a little bit different. We are painting. We are using paper. We are using my Princeton brushes. But for color, we're using something a little bit different. So I hope you're ready. Before I delve into what I am painting with, Please remember guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as it really does help my channel grow. Okay, so here's what I am going to be painting with. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous palette of eyeshadows. <laughs> yes, these are eyeshadow colors. Okay, so the colors are very vibrant and look at the gorgeous detail that there is on here. Uh, birds and just just stunning I love it though this is an orange this is two different shades of purple we've got a green we've got a champagne silver browns um, and this orange gold stuff happening here so I think we can have quite a bit of fun by the way if you're curious to know the name of this brand it's called Florisis and uh, Floral Engraving Phoenix Makeup Palette. That's what this palette is in 03 Soaring Sunlight. I'm going to get, um, I'm gonna be holding both my brushes in my hand and I've just realized I didn't tell you what brushes I'm using. I'm using my Princeton Velvet Touch number four and the Neptune number eight. And then for paper, this is the Etcher Etcher, let's see what uh, size is this. This is the Etcher watercolor pad, hot press in a 8.3 by 1117. And as per usual, I'm listing all my supplies in the description below, so feel free to check that out there. So let's begin. I'm going to start off with my flowers. I'm going to start off with the number eight and I'm keeping number four handy just in case I need to get a little bit more of that color. So we're going to start off with, um, I'm liking the orange. Let's go with the orange gold. Look at that. That's incredible. Okay. Let's paint some nice loose style flowers. I'm just going to create something very similar to that gorgeous um, loose peony that I recently did oh these actually work so well for colors I am loving this shade here it's gonna get a little bit more I don't even need the second brush really because I wasn't quite sure how this was gonna pan out and it's panning out very nicely I have to say. Okay, so this is supposed to be the floppy petal. This should also be a floppy petal. And then we've got our background petals there. If you missed that video and you're keen on learning how to do this peony, uh, it was about two weeks ago. So just check it out on my channel. You should find it easily. But again, back to these colors I am loving how this is transitioning onto paper here it almost kind of looks like watercolor and it's gorgeous okay now I'm very eager to try the rest of the colors happening I make these a little bit bigger longer fuller looking Before I go on, I wanted to show you what the colors look like on my sheet of paper. So now I'm going to use the number four and I'm going to get a little bit of this brown here. And let's just get a little bit of detailing happening right in the center of the flower. Let's just see what this looks like. This is also a gorgeous brown. It's matte, so it doesn't have a glisten like the center color. And let's just get a little bit more for our floppy petals here. The 
this works real well, guys. And again, why am I doing this? Just for fun. <laughs> so keeping things interesting. Uh, you can literally create art with anything out there. And while the palette over here is meant for a canvas, which is more like skin or your face, um, it's who says that you can't try it on paper? Kind of like what's happening there. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's just use a little bit of the darker color here and the dark brown. And I want to create like leaves. Oh, beautiful. This is also a gorgeous color. I love the selection of colors happening here. It is very much so my vibe. And I love the transitions. Onto the paper. Very fun and so different. You would never, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if I would have guessed these to be makeup as opposed to watercolors. So pretty, very delicate, just gorgeous. Now I want to try some of these bright um, colors here. So like this mauve. Let's get some of the mauve and do little tiny flowers. Well, not tiny, but um, like the regular five petal flowers. Transitions on here, very light, kind of like the first color I used for our peony. But still beautiful on paper. Let me see if I layer it, what happens. Looks good. Let's do a couple and then I'll take the dark purple that is a matte hue or a matte finish and uh, add a little bit of that onto here. Kind of like how I did the brown in with the orange. Could have used my number four, but I'm just going to be using this for now. Oh, beautiful. Look at this going in with, with that light tone to give us some nice shadowy effects. Love it. They complement each other very well, indeed. I'm just going to do a couple kind of like buds on the outskirts. It's because it's nice and dark. Transitions better than the lighter version. My brushes now have tons of glitter on this. So let's see how this is going to wash off. Um, I'm probably just going to use soap and go with that. Okay, let's get some of the green, the nice glittery green, and add that in here. So I'm assuming the green is going to be kind of similar to the mauve purple base, so like lighter. So I'm getting a lot of color, and it is very, very light. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, I'll have to do a, a zoom in special for you so you can see what that looks like. So yeah, this is very, very light. doesn't really work as much, but you can get a little bit of glisten here and there with it. So I think I will stick with the, with the dark brown or even the regular brown that we used for the peony. Let's try that. That might also work nicely. But it's very, very close to that color, so it doesn't quite give much of a break in terms of foliage happening here. And that's okay, we're just doing this for fun. Just trying to make these smaller leaves so that it's nice and dainty in comparison to the big leaves that we created. And let's get some 
happening here. Um, I'm going to do some. Now I'm really into this composition, guys. I know it's, this is supposed to be for fun, and it is for fun. But once you get to painting, you just get swept away. And this is me getting swept away with this gorgeous makeup palette that I am using as colors. I'm actually going to get more of that green, and I want to like really see if I can like drop in hints of this. It's very, very light, like I said. But I still want to see if I'm able to sort of have, get some nice pops of green happening. So just like dabbing it in between. It's not the best transition, but um, I think it does the job in terms of giving us hints of green here and there. And now let's try the blue because I am waiting to see what this looks like. So for this, let's make it more like a blue bell, lady bell sort of flower-ish. Um, I'll do one starting from here. Oh, this blue is stunning, guys. Wow. This is a stunning blue. Gorgeous. Um, I'm painting this backwards, so it's a little bit of a challenge. Stay with me a bit. And it gets thicker as we go higher or closer to the flower, rather. Does this have watercolor properties? I'm going to dab some color in here and see if it flows not quite so it doesn't flow like watercolor typically does when you drop in water um, but it still transitions quite nicely on paper so I'm liking what's happening here so far let's get uh, I'm gonna extend this I know it's blue I'm still gonna use the blue and a stem. And maybe even like hints of blue happening a little bit over here. Just a little to sort of pick up from the blue down here. And let's get some. So we've got one here. If we get one at the top here, that would be nice. So this is more like a delphinium than the lady bell that I mentioned. And if you're looking to do lady bells, I did a lady bell video recently. Um, so that's also very, very recent and close by in the uh, in the roster of newest videos. So you can check that out. I'm trying to paint that around it. Not bad. Let's add a little bit of a hint over here. How awesome is this? Like you, creativity knows no bounds. Like you can paint with almost anything. I've heard of people crushing flowers and getting the color from the flowers in painting using that. Painting with wine as well, uh, tea. Uh, it's, yeah. Creativity knows no bounds. And it's only when you try and play around with things like this that you typically wouldn't be doing that you learn more and experience more and grow more as an artist, creator, all that good stuff. All right, so this is where I'm going to stop. Did I use all the colors? No, I didn't. Let me, let me just do this one here. I know it's gonna be very, very light but still I want to see what it looks like. Uh, I'll do a leaf here. So this is the silver I believe. Yeah, very light but still transitions and you can see it on camera. 
And then I'm going to try the next one. Let's see what that looks like. Let me just get one more leaf in here first. Okay, so the next one is this guy right here. What's he looking like? Oh, okay, so he looks similar. He. Um, this color looks very similar to this, um, the orangish hue that we had for the peony, which is nice, but uh, like I said, very, very light, so can't see too, too much, but still does the job, I guess, if you really want to use it. But I, my favorites are the blue, the dark purple mixed in with the light purple, and then most definitely the orange with the brown there. So here's a close-up of what the eyeshadows transitioned onto paper look like you get some beautiful beautiful shimmers happening some nice deep color with the blues with the mauves the orange is a nice soft hue and then these two right here are more of the silver champagne which is all right but uh here it is guys decided to do a little bit of like um, adding some fluffing and a little bit of strokes to the center of this flower otherwise that background those background petals kind of get lost and then you don't quite see anything but that's it for this video guys I hope you guys had fun watching this with me and uh, if you end up trying this with any of the makeup that you have at home I would love to see what you do so please don't forget to tag me Thanks guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.